raining again today, although the sky looks really bright. Usually that means it's gonna stop, I doubt it though. Some people that I know said it's actually snowing for the north. And with that in mind, what's going on today? I think this was kind of interesting to read where apparently, I guess here in Canada, there was some research done where they're using drones to detect every single, I guess, Wi-Fi capable device per se. This one says, Waterloo researchers discover security loophole allowing attackers to use Wi-Fi to see through walls. Drone powered device exposes vulnerabilities in Wi-Fi security. Is this gonna make people say, oh no, more spying with drones and all that? It says here, a research team based out of the University of Waterloo has developed a drone powered device that can use Wi-Fi networks to see through walls. The device, nicknamed Y-Peep, can fly near a building and then use the inhabitant's Wi-Fi network to identify and locate all Wi-Fi enabled devices inside in a matter of seconds. The Y-Peep exploits a loophole the researchers call polite Wi-Fi. Even if a network is password protected, smart devices will automatically respond to contact attempts from any device within range. The Y-Peep sends several messages to a device as it flies and then measures the response time on each, enabling it to identify the device's location to within a meter. So that's kind of interesting. It reminds me too, have you ever walked around like the mall, for example, or just anywhere and your Bluetooth will detect all these devices? Frequently on my phone, for example, it'll say, do you want to connect to this headset, for example, or speaker? So I guess it would be kind of the same thing, except this one, like they're saying here, it'll specifically try to determine the distance in which that, I guess, tech is located. I guess for the first time of many people, it would be what's the big deal? It's just like a stationary item, correct? But here it says, using similar technology, one could track the movements of security guards inside a bank by following the location of their phones or smartwatches. Likewise, a thief could identify the location and type of smart devices in a home, including security cameras, laptops, and smart TVs, to find a good candidate for a break-in. In addition, the device's operation via drone means that it can be used quickly and remotely without much chance of the user being detected. While scientists have explored Wi-Fi security vulnerability in the past using bulky, expensive devices, the Y-Peep is notable because of its accessibility and ease of transportation. Abadie's team built it using a store-bought drone and $20 of easily purchased hardware. So will that make you worried? I know, funny enough, when it comes to Wi-Fi, you can actually name them and your devices and all that, and some people put really crude names, I guess, just to get you to go away, per se. And there was a lot of news today about massive layoffs in the company Twitter. You know, they recently got taken over by the billionaire Elon Musk, and he's been making a lot of changes. First, it was top executives being fired. Now, I guess it's gonna be a large part of its existing staff. For example, like this one says, Twitter layoffs hit Canadian office involved in at least two of the country's top staff. And with this, apparently, there's some employees that are planning to sue the company. And from what I gather, it seems like it's because they're saying they didn't get enough notice in terms of their termination. I think that was kind of the confusing thing. And for example, you can first read various posts like what this person posts hey twitter employees getting laid off tomorrow important info from a ca employment attorney i believe that's california not canada here it says ca's warn law requires twitter to give you 60 days notice of a massive layoff a layoff of 50 plus employees within a 30-day period qualifies i know you didn't get that notice but then you have other people basically calling out like this person for example saying here what we have known for months that elon would fire the leading management and a good chunk of the workforce Lisa Bloom is an ambulance chaser out for a payday. So there's so much conflicting information, but just from doing some, I guess, basic research, it seems like this is the official email that was sent to the Twitter employees, depending on whether or not you are going to be fired per se. So like this first one here, it says what? As shared earlier today, Twitter is conducting a workforce reduction to help improve the health of the company. These decisions are never easy and it is with great regret that we write to inform you that your role at Twitter has been impacted. And here's the one where it says apparently I guess they are giving them quote notice and as well I suppose pay until that time has expired. It says today is your last working day at the company however you will remain employed by Twitter and will receive compensation and benefits through your separation date February 2nd 2023. 
During this time, you will be on a non-working notice period and your access to Twitter systems will be deactivated. While you are not expected to work during the non-working notice period, you are still required to comply with all company policies including the employee playbook and code of conduct. Within a week, you will receive details of your severance offer, financial resources extending beyond your non-working notice period. At that time, you will also receive a separation agreement and a release of claims and other offboarding. So it seems like here, they're telling those employees that they want to let go. You're off the premise, they don't want you to have access to anything, but in the meantime, you'll still get paid and all that. Would that technically be okay from their end in terms of letting go all these people? Because that does sound like it's within the time frame, correct? It could be just like what I quote trust issue where they don't want people messing around with certain stuff. And on the flip side, if you were the group, it seems here that wasn't let go. It basically says what we are sending this email to confirm that your employment is not impacted by today's workforce reduction. Throughout the last week, Elon has spent time with a number of employees, customers, partners, policymakers, and Twitter users. He is looking forward to communicating with everyone about his vision for the company soon. So unfortunately, again, there's two groups of people. Either you were let go or you were kept for the company. Kind of interesting though, just again, in terms of all the information out there, which one's true, which one's not, because from this anyways, if this is accurate and it's the official statement, it seems like they are giving them notice, correct? I've only seen that happen once actually, in terms of a massive layoff per se. During that time, I was working for a retail company where a bunch of people, including myself, we just worked there because at first it was supposed to be seasonal and they said themselves they'll decide who they want to keep. I was one of the people that decided to keep and unfortunately afterwards, huge lineups of people like during a certain day, it's one by one. For example, sorry, we decided to let you go. Everyone walking sat with papers and all that. And it's really heartbreaking, especially in that case too, where they actually asked me like my opinion, who I think would be good and all that. It's not a fun position to be in. raining here. Whenever the sky is that bright, there's usually a chance it'll stop. See you guys later.